Good morning. <clears throat> it's uh, getting close to Christmas. And I've got a cold. What I think is a cold. I have cold symptoms, I'll put it that way. And one of the things that I like to do when I have cold symptoms, like a stuffy nose, aching muscles, things like that, is take a sauna. And it seems to help. Now, I'm no expert on health or anything like that, obviously. Um, but I know I've always found relief uh, taking a sauna bath um, to relieve my cold symptoms or help relieve them. They don't completely go away, but it seems like it does uh, shorten the duration. It may seem like it's uh, a little foggy in here, and that's because it's raining outside. And I've told you before, when um, it rains, the sauna is not waterproof, so uh, the water runs in. You can hear the rain dripping on the roof. Uh, you can hear it uh, dripping into the sauna rocks over there. And uh, it's like a steam bath, basically, uh, which is great for um, cold symptoms. You know, people will put a hot bowl of water, a real hot bowl of water with some essential oils in it, then breathe it in. That's basically what I do in the sauna. So you can see how hot the uh, heating coils are there. There's also rocks, a lot of rocks in there. And they hold the heat and um, allow it to get even hotter and hotter than it is. Now what I've got here is a little bit of water. I usually do a dry sauna. <clears throat> I don't usually put a lot of um, water on the sauna rocks, even though that's perfectly normal for people to do that. I just kind of like a dry sauna better than a, uh, a wet sauna. So, um, but I put a little, you can kind of see it floating in there. I put a little peppermint oil and some lavender oil on the, um, in the water. You can see the, the steam down there at the bottom. But I'm gonna pour that or some of this in there. And that peppermint will diffuse into the air just like a diffuser would. While I'm in here healing, if you all wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, that would make me feel even better. Thank you. And when that peppermint hits the air and you breathe it in, it's a rush. It, uh, it takes your breath away, but you can immediately start to feel any kind of mucus or anything you've got in your sinuses or throat start to break loose. Um, I love doing this. And then when I get out, I'll jump in the pool. The pool's probably about 48 degrees right now. And that will also have the same effect. It will basically clear your head and sinuses. So I don't recommend anything, really. <laughs> Uh, this is what works for me. It may not be real, it may not be true. It seems to be for me though. And uh, if you have a cold or any kind of cold symptoms, I would not go to a public sauna and use that. You're gonna get somebody sick. So luckily I have one, nobody else is gonna use this. Um, so, you know, I'm safe to do it. But um, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Um, let me show you how hot it is. There are two vents underneath the sauna heater there. And you can see the outside cool moist air rolling into the 200 degree sauna air. And it just basically makes a cloud. That's pretty cool. So we're running about 200 degrees with 100% humidity right now because of the rain. So uh, this, is, this is what I do when I get a cold or cold symptoms. Hope you all enjoyed it and I will See you on the next video.